Hey, this is King Kevin Dorval checking in. I just want to share with you all about Christmas and how Christmas can be about. You know, um, for the past couple of years, I haven't really celebrated Christmas. Um, Monday, I was asked, that was the 20th, uh, 1220, 2015, I was asked to play Santa Claus. Actually, I was paid to play Santa Claus with this nonprofit organization in Little Haiti, Miami, uh, for these kids. Um, and, you know, I'm all about the kids. If you follow me or been to any of my events or my website, you know, I do a lot of events with at-risk youth. You know, I'm an at-risk uh, youth mentor and uh, with my organization, Courage to Believe International. And these, you know, kids were from, um, you know, broken homes for the most part. And a lot of these kids didn't have their fathers around um, ever since they were born. So I really wanted to be there for the kids. You know, at least that's my excuse anyway. I've never played Santa before, but it was a very cool experience, I, I must say. And it was very interesting because I know the history behind Christmas. I know the history behind pagan holidays for the most part. I'm talking about Easter, Christmas, um, what other one? Halloween. Uh, there's a couple other ones, but that's not the purpose of this video. Now, the winter solstice um, was celebrated in northern the hemisphere in Scandinavia, um, where Christmas actually its origins began. It wasn't called Christmas at the time, but what they did was they were celebrating in the forest um, by cutting off cutting off logs and having the log burn. The logs burn for twelve days. Now, in these twelve days. They were sacrificing, they were having orgies in the woods, they were killing animals and people and they put them in the fire as a sacrifice to their God, you know, to, you know, to celebrate pagan darkness, you know. And this was going on late December because in late December, that's when the, the nights are longer and the days are shorter. So this gave them more time, you know, you notice how it gets dark really quick, like 5.30, as far as in the East goes, Eastern Standard Time, you know, it gets dark around this time, very early. And... So they were able to, you know, do their thing out in the woods and, and just be lawless, you know, and that, that's what was going on. Um, they were celebrating their sex fertility god, Europe. Now, why is this significant? Um, this transcended and there were all, also other countries who were participating in the celebration of their uh, pagan gods. You know, then you go to places like um, Rome. You know, you go places like Persia, you know, they all have their own thing going on regarding um, around December, you know, the different guys. And in Rome, um, before Christianity ever, you know, became about, this is when they were practicing their magic, they were doing their, you know, their orgies, those who don't know what orgies is, uh, you know, look it up. I mean, it's, you know, a bunch of people just, you know, having, you know, sex together. Um, so I've always been kind of, uh, curious about because you know the diseases that can you know be spread you know what I'm saying like these people just did not care you know this is when you're operating at the lowest level of frequency um, lowest level of consciousness when you just you know you're all about pleasing self you're all about pleasing um, your 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 desires or fleshy desires nothing to do with you know spiritual just fleshy desires and these people were doing that you know, uh, on top of sacrificing the kids and the animals and, and, and grown adults, um, they wanted to get in touch with evil spirits. They want to uh, evoke, they wanted to wake up, you know what I'm saying, the dead and things like that. You know, that's what they were doing. In Rome, um, they were, you know what I'm saying, as I mentioned, uh, they were um, truly, you know, you think of Rome, you think of order, you think of the, the, the Roman army, you know what I'm saying, the indestructible um, Roman army, you know what I mean, um, even uh, uh, Hannibal, you know, from Africa, he, you know, nearly defeated, you know, the invincible uh, Roman army, but you think of that, but in Rome, they had, when it came around time, around the December, late December, there was no laws, I mean, you could do whatever you wanted to do, you know what I'm saying, they even invited kids to take part in the orgies, this is how sick these people are, and to be honest with you, if you look at, um, those Roman or those uh, late ancient um, paintings and sculptures, you know what I'm saying, of the Greek gods and stuff like that, you notice that these kids are always naked. Even Valentine is a pagan holiday as well. I've stopped celebrating Valentine many years ago. 
But you, you look at those panties. You, you always notice that the men and women are butt naked all the time. You know what I'm saying? You notice that, that you know, they have the penises showing, the, the, the breasts are always showing, even the little kids. You know what I mean? So you, you have to, you know, think about that. Now, now Cupid, um, which is not part of this video, but Cupid is, is representing a, uh, a child god. How can a, a, a little child be considered a god? You know what I'm saying? Butt naked, you know, kid. You know what I'm saying? Shooting arrows, and which is a long story. It's very, you know, it's worth um, on researching and looking up. Look up Dr. Borshengel video, European Holidays, you know, or, or just YouTube, you know, YouTube that, or you can YouTube True Meaning of Christmas to go more in detail. But in pre-Christian Rome, they were um, worshiping uh, Dionysus, you know what I'm saying, uh, and, and, and Baal chief, you know what I'm saying, the male god Baal. So um, when they went to Persia, um, there was a god called Mythos, and Mythos was supposedly born on December 25th. Uh, I hope I'm saying his na the name right. Myto, Mythos, is M Y T H O S. And so, as, as time progresses, and you know these these days um, leading up to December 25th, and and, and, and Mythos represents the um, the sun. You know they called him the sun god, which they stole from ancient Egypt. You know the African civilizations. You know, to call, you know, their God, the sun God. And they know that's come from Amun Ra, you know. So um, that's a whole nother story. But the fact of the matter is they believed in it. it whether it's true or not, you know, that's not <laughs> that's not important. What's more important is the fact that this is what they believe in and what you believe in and what you give power to. You, I could give power to this banana peel. If I want to worship this banana peel. You know what I'm saying? I believe that this banana peel can save me and heal me and do whatever case may be. I'm I'm giving power to it. This the power of the mind, the, the electro uh, magnetic pulses, the you know pulses from the brain. You know what I mean? Like everything that we think about, you know, it's it's like the brain, you know, shooting out these signals to our immediate environment. So whatever we put our minds to, we put our brains to, especially when you have a group of people having a meeting of the minds. You know, agreement of their minds, you give power to that, and that's um, extremely significant. You know, so these people, um, you know, what I'm saying in Persia, you know, they were doing it. They created this this god. Now, the courts are closed. Um, you know, all stores are closed. Uh, you know, what I'm saying you could do whatever you want, walk the street butt naked. All crime was allowed around this time. You know, what I mean, as I mentioned, it, it was straight crazy. So you're talking about like 270 A.D. You know, after the death of Christ. So this um, particular God that they created in Persia called Santalia. Very, sounds very close to Satan, to be honest with you. Um, Santalia, and they called it the Festivals of the Fools. Now, the Festival, Festival of the Fools started around the 4th century. Now, um, with, the, with, with that being said, now you have centuries now where this was, you know, has been going on. You know what I mean? Within the Europeans, you know, and, and their their holidays. Now, when you light up the Christmas trees, when you light up the, the lights in the yard, back then, you know what I mean? 270 A.D., um, leading to the 4th century in uh, the Church of Rome, they couldn't stop people from lighting up the candles and signifying that, hey, we, we are participating in the celebration of Dionysus, Dionysus or, or Centania or uh, Mythos. So you're letting the neighbors know, look, hey, I celebrate, you know, this God as well. Come participate with us. Come sacrifice with us. Come in and join us in a home. And they probably had the doors unlocked. And people really didn't unlock their door, you know, lock their doors anyway. Um, you know, back in the day, you know, there's a lot more trust, you know, going on. These days we have trust issues, so we created locks, bolts, everything. But that invited them to come in, you know, to come feast with us. Come, you know, have sex with us. You know what I'm saying? Come sacrifice, you know, someone with us, you know. So that's why the whole lighting thing came about, to be honest with you. You know, the, and the Christmas tree itself came from that log, you know what I'm saying, that they used to burn in the forest, you know, and, 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 and the lighting of the tree represents, you know, the fire. This is where it all c comes from. Now, the reason why I'm saying all of this is because, you know, and, 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 and it also can be about, before I forget, Christmas was also outlawed in England and many other countries as well. As a matter of fact, the way um, Christ was born, 
in the Bible, the way Christ, I'm not saying in the Bible, it doesn't say this in the Bible, but the way Jesus' birthday came associated with December 25th was because they wanted to, um, the, the, the Roman church, they wanted to bring in the pagans um, into their religion and make the church of Rome more powerful. There's power in numbers. You have more people paying tithes, more people paying offerings. So the more bodies, the more money coming to the church. So they wanted to, um, you know what I'm saying, increase the population. So by doing that, they made the, the birthday of uh, Mythos um, in Spain, the, 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 the god that they used to worship there, and that his birthday was the 25th. So they merged it and made Jesus' uh, birthday the, the, the December 25th. Um, Jesus was not celebrated up until this time on December 25th. Matter of fact, Jesus was never even mentioned, um, was not even known around the world at that time. So, given Jesus that birthday during that time, it, it, it solidified, um, you know, giving the people an opportunity to continue their pagan religion through Christianity. So, Christianity um, compromised. Not all the Christian um, leaders, you know, was, was for it. There, there was a couple, a couple that was completely against it, um, you know. But then, um, like I mentioned, England eventually made it illegal. And then you had the, the, the pilgrims that left there, the Puritans that left England that came to the colonies, which is now the United States of America. The, you know, the, it was still outlawed, but some people still practiced it under, you know, in the darkness. These people still want to keep their religion. The tradition, you know, um, but eventually there's there so many people who just wanted to celebrate Christmas, they wanted to celebrate the birth of Christ because that's what they were taught to believe. Remember, you can make anything powerful, any banana peel, you can make anything powerful if you believe in whatever it is, including a book. You know what I'm saying? You know, any book. I have several books on my desk. I can make any book powerful. You know what I mean? You know, because I believe in the contents of it. Therefore, it's going to infuse me with power because my mind, my mind is on it. My mind is thinking, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's very interesting stuff. So what, I, what I'm saying is if, if you're going to celebrate um, Christmas with your children, let them know Santa Claus is not real. They have to know it's not real. It's, it, it's Santa Claus is like Mickey Mouse. You feel me? You know, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, Minnie Mouse, whoever you want to call, you know what I'm saying? Let them know that it's not real. You're the parent. You're the guardian. You're the one that's making this happen. Not some fat white man coming down the chimney or come through the door with a bag full of gifts. Teach our kids the truth. You know what I mean? Kids are not too young to hear these twerking songs, not too young to hear these killing songs on the radio when, when, when they're in the car with you. They're not to hear, too young to hear about lovemaking and, and, and murders. They're reciting these songs in the car. So they're not too young. You know what I'm saying? You got kids, little girls, uh, four, five, six years old, twerking, booty popping. What, what, what is that saying? What kind of, you know, sexual energy they're putting out there at such a young age? You know, and I just want to, you know, you know, put that, you know, put that out there. You know, I'm not saying don't give gifts. I mean, if you're going to give gifts, give gifts all throughout the year, not just on, you know, Christmas, because people say, OK, it's Christmas. All these stores are closed. Um, people are off from work. I'm off from work this morning. <laughs> you know, thank God I'm going to definitely take the day off. But I'm working on my own dream and goals. But just let the kids know the truth about these holidays. Don't just keep them blind and, 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 and walk around here, you know what I'm saying, it's, you know, silly and, and dumbfounded. You know, let them know the truth. So because then they'll go out and seek the truth themselves and, and 